chicken addict. This is the poor Joe Prepper Show. We have our two sons helping us build our homestead. Justin at Sparks Winery, Booth and Home and Garden Expo. Then we have Philip and his newlywed wife, Rebecca, that help us build our sheds and barns. And who She's enjoying them? the company of the dogs. And a good book. And a good book. This is our miniature pony called Socrates. Our miniature pony. You say hi to everybody this morning? You never did tell me. <laughs> he just ruined it again. <laughs> Why, what are you doing, Trinity? What are you trying to get out of there? Eggs. What are you going to do with them? Eat them. Mmm, do you like chicken eggs? Yes. Do you like farm fresh so chicken eggs? Out there, yes. Look at all those chickens. Ready? And Down. open this up and see what's in here. Well, we got a hen laying there. And what else do we have in here? Do you see any eggs? Put it in your bucket real careful with the one duck egg that we collected. Have you seen the baby chickens yet? Oh, we got baby chickens, baby turkeys, and baby Americanas. Americanas lay Easter egg colored eggs. Wow, you're doing good. You found some more. Look how big that one is. Is that all of them in that one? Now, let's see if old Big Mama here will move. See if there's any eggs under her. Oh yeah, I'm gonna bring you out one. Let's see if there's another one under there. Yeah, I feel another one. Pin now here with the lower ceiling. It's a little harder to climb in there. All the guineas are outside. There's only one in there. Do you see one? This is Trevor, and it's his birthday five days ago. We got him a Japanese sword. Did you see all the eggs, Grandma? Pushing up out here, and then we're going to go try to go to the Shawnee Mall. They're having a Home and Garden Expo Center, and my son is a salesman. Uh, at the Expo Center for Sparks Winery in Sparks, America, Sparks, Oklahoma. This is some of our building supplies, and then I uh, burned some of the weeds off out of the garden. And I've got uh, piles of the, so where does the rabbit and chicken mess. Oh, down around that trampoline, any of those, you go out there and chop them and just see how it cuts. Or look, hey, over there in the garden part, uh, laid that old rabbit over on its back, them are old tomato plants, and uh, you can uh, whack them down. We want our chickens to be free range, so we're trying to let some of them out. Now, our geese already, they don't, they don't leave, they stay right around here. But we want, we're just letting a few of them out at a time. They, they won't get into anything. we got to clean up the yard. That's what we're doing now. So, Chickens are having sex. <laughs> that's one of the pullets. And, uh, Look, I'm too young to see. She's too young to see this. we got two roosters that were turning out the free range, and we set out three hens with him out of our hen house. Uh, yeah, she was a baby chick, and she's been able to hang on, so we let her... We. Uh, didn't we have to take her in and put her in quarantine for a little while because yeah, she's, uh, yeah she stayed in the house for several weeks and so that's how she got used to me and I made a pet out of her she collects eggs out of the egg box here we got guineas next door to the chickens and now let's go inside this little shed and she's going to show you what's inside here the We're rabbits and we've only got the two one male one female these are New Zealand's she's a New Zealand black We've got a New Zealand white buck there. Okay. She had one litter. And Here's the baby bunnies that we're waiting to get just a little bit heavier. And uh, they will be going into the freezer. Uh, we're stocking up some lumber here. We've got a little attic up there that's got uh, two befores and such. And uh, stocking it up so we can get us another shed built. It's supposed to have a real horrific weekend 
coming up. This is Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We're going to be down into the uh, single digits, sleet, snow, ice. And uh, so I'm going to get a little temporary shed built up here for the geese. Huh. She's drinking the water off of that old that's the duck pen and, and, and slash goose pen. The duck, he runs with the geese. I don't know where Affleck is right now. We call it Affleck, but it's the only one laying eggs. These two geese are not laying eggs, so we're not for sure if they're male or female. They're two different breeds, the Chinese goose and an African goose. And we're suspecting maybe now they're both male gander. But time will tell, and if it's so, we will be looking for a hatchlings. This is our starting of our little homestead. And this is Miss Poor Joe Trucker, a little homesteader. She wasn't going to get a bottle, but she went ahead and did it. She has turned into an official wino. She loves sparks wine in one flavor, too. What's the flavor you like? Oh, like you've got her hooked on this. Thank you, thank you. Like you've got her hooked on this deep fork red. Are you filming me? Here you go, ma'am. Thank you very much. Please enjoy the wine for this evening. <laughs> this is our little start. Uh, what are we doing this for, dear? To be self-sufficient? Health and self-sufficient. Trying to grow more food so we don't have to go to the commercial grocery store and buy food that for one thing chickens our chicken eggs are twice the size of a store-bought egg twice the protein our feed has more protein in it that we feed our chickens and plus we know what's in the feed we buy to feed our chickens and we know where we're getting our eggs so that's our big plus uh, our rabbits uh, some of the leanest meat you'll ever eat and uh, putting it in our freezer and we've got the acreage here but we'll have a calf and uh, a pig or two and etc cetera, etc cetera. and there's our little homestead you can hear the rooster over there crowing i opened the sheds i opened the uh, doors for them to get out i don't know if i want to walk through this in my slippers i've already been out and watered and fed I should have took a video then that's showing you the little homestead and you see no birds are outside enjoying it today but yes, we had a um, high winds and um, oh, sleet, ice and sleet. You can see the ice crystals. Uh, roads was very slick. They called off work today. It's Monday morning, and we're just cooped up in the house. And I'm cutting this video. Affleck, Affleck. So the train begins, turning the baby ducks to say. Affleck, who is going to provide food for our table. Fresh gardens. We want chickens to eat all the bugs. We don't want to have to spray poison. And this is a backyard buck production.